Welcome to another lesson brought to you by Saved Learning. Today we're going to be doing a close reading and specifically a theme analysis. Don't forget to check out the description below for a free graphic organizer that you can print out and follow along. The story that we're going to be reading today is one of Aesop's fables. It's called The Ant and the Dove. And we're going to be reading this to try and discover what the lesson or or message of the story is, and we're going to be specifically looking at five key aspects of the story to help us discover the theme. We're going to be looking at the title, the setting, the characters, the conflict, and the evidence. But first we actually have to read the story, so we're going to read that real quick and then go into those five aspects. The story begins, a dove saw an ant fall into a brook. The ant struggled in vain to reach the bank, and in pity, the dove dropped a blade of straw close beside it. Clinging to the straw like a shipwrecked sailor to a broken spar, the ant floated safely to shore. Soon after, the ant saw a man getting ready to kill the dove with a stone, but just as he cast the stone, the ant stung him in the heel so that the pain made him miss his aim, and the startled dove flew to safety in a distant wood. So first up, we're going to look at the title and see what this reveals about the story. So again, the title is The Ant and the Dove, and this doesn't give us a ton of information, but it reveals that there are two characters that are in the story, both are animals, and they do not have names. And this last point is pretty interesting. Authors tend to employ this tactic of giving um, nameless characters or very generic names to characters to imply that the the message or the theme uh, can connect to anyone and everyone to all readers alike now some other titles from other books may give us more information so that's why it's always important to look at titles Harry Potter for instance has longer titles um, this first example Harry Potter and and the Sorcerer's Stone, the second one, and the Prisoner of Azkaban, and the Goblet of Fire. So as we can see, looking at titles can be very important because you can get a lot of very rich information about the story from them. Moving on to the setting, the setting is the when and the where the story takes place, and how, how does the setting affect the characters? How does the location and time affect the characters? So the time of the story is most likely during the day. There's not a lot of evidence in the story uh, to suggest a time period, but it's likely daytime uh, because the dove can see an ant in the stream. We can assume that there's a light out, so it's probably daytime. The place, however, the place is in a distant wood somewhere, and specifically there's, there's a brook in those woods. Now this part is interesting, how this affects the characters. Woods are seen as this kind of supernatural element sometimes, this dangerous place to be, right? Typically nothing good happens out in the distant woods. So that's how it affects the characters, is we can tell that they're both going to go through some conflict, some danger is going to be present from them, specifically connecting to that uh, setting. And this connects to our conflict. What, what is the main conflict or what are the main problems in the story? And we find that there's two, there's two problems. The ant is stuck in a brook and cannot uh, get safe by himself. The second problem, the dove is in danger of being hit with a stone. Uh, a man is gonna hit the dove with a stone. So those are our two problems. And what do the characters learn about because of these problems? How do they change or what do they learn about life after um, surviving these issues? So again, we have our ant, we have our dove, and the dove first shows kindness by helping the ant get to safety, and the ant returns that favor by helping the dove get safely into the woods. So our theme we can begin to see is that it really pays to be kind. Kindness pays off. It does not go wasted. Now taking that, taking that theme that we're kind of starting to see in mind. We're gonna look for some evidence from the story, a sentence from the story, and see if we can't support that, and then we need to explain why. So I've gone through and pasted in a sentence here that kind of correlates to that kindness, and it reads, 
But just as he, meaning the man with the stone, cast the stone, the ant stung him in the heel so that the pain made him miss his aim, and the startled dove flew to safety in a distant wood. Now that we have some evidence, now that we have a quote or a sentence from the text, we don't want to just let it speak for itself. We never want to let quotes speak for themselves. Now it's really important that we explain why. So to do this, we're going to restate the sentence, we're going to paraphrase it into our own words, and then connect it to what we think the theme is, what we see the theme is. So for instance, the ant repaid the dove by distracting the man who was throwing the stone so that the dove could flee to safety. And then we can begin to really see that the theme of this is kindness is never wasted. Thank you so much for watching.